Yes, all right. Welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. I'm here with your Ale Arsenal updates on Kosi's Arsenal Podcast AF, uh, AFC News Show, where we discuss a lot of issues relating to Arsenal, what is transpiring around the club. Mikel Ateta is in line to get a new contract with Alexander Lacazette. That is what we are going to be discussing this early morning. And I want to get your thoughts on that. But before you do give me your thoughts, the first thing you will have to do is to smash the like button. Please do that. Uh, let's get them at least 500 likes. Do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. We are moving very fast to two, uh, 20,000 subscribers. Um, that is another big step towards success. 20,000. I think we are 700 um, subscribers away uh, from 20,000. Smash the like button, please. And do subscribe as well. Massively, massively appreciated. And of course, give me your comment now in the comment box. What do you think about Mikel Arteta getting a new contract at Arsenal? What do you, uh, what do you think of Alexander Lacazette getting a new contract at Arsenal? Those are the two things we are going to be discussing this early morning. Um, like I said, my name is Kosi and let's get down um, to the analysis and, 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 and story. Now, reports indicate that uh, the, the Arsenal manager... Mikel Arteta is in line to get a new contract. I don't know. Either Arsenal believe that he is the man to take the project ahead or they are rewarding him for the little success he has had uh, at the club so far. Remember in January, all of us thought that um, if he doesn't do well, um, he would actually get sacked. Um, many, many people thought he was going to get sacked. I wanted him get, you know, to get sacked even before January. But the Arsenal board had, you know, had decided that they are not going to sack him. They were going to leave him, give him time and the resources to back him up or back him uh, so that he actually, you know, transforms Arsenal into the team that the fans do want to see. And I, I, I want to say from December till January, he has been doing a tremendous job, really tremendous, that many Arsenal fans had forgotten all the cries, all the negative things that actually uh, had uh, 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 that happened at, at the club in November, uh, you know, in September, in October, all the games we lost, all the stupid, you know, mistakes that he made, uh, you know, playing the wrong players, you know, playing players, you know, ca ca you know, courtesy of, of favoritism and, and and so on, you know, he, he he was a changed manager. Now in February, he's unfortunate that he has lost two games, and the Ateta out um, agenda is back. Many people actually, um, you know, calling for his head, sack Ateta, let him go. Um, and this is where I want to get your you know opinions about. Do you think Mikel Ateta uh, should be sacked uh, right now, or we should wait until the the end of the season, or should he actually get a new contract, or we should wait um, until of the uh, until the end of the uh, uh, until the end of the season? Well, look. I, in my opinion, if Arsenal want to give Mikel Arteta a new contract, you have to wait until the end of the season and see. Try to evaluate his performances. Yes, he's, you know, let me say, um, he is a manager chosen by the board. He's, he is a manager entrusted by Arsenal um, to take the club forward. Ma you know, many... Um, you know, stakeholders on the board um, because according, at least according to, to Charles Watts and, 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 and journalists like David Onstein, they'll tell you that you know, the board really trusts Mikel Arteta. They love him and, and, and they trust in him. They feel he's the, next, you know, he's the right person to take the next project um, as we're building you know, in front. So, yeah, we understand, but there is no way you're going to give Mikel Arteta a contract right now. It doesn't make sense. Wait until the end of the season and see. Is he still in line with you know with the objectives? If he's still in the li in, in line with the objectives, then you do you know you, 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 you can't give him a contract. But right now, I don't see Mikel Arteta as a manager who has earned um, courtesy to get a contract. He has not earned that right uh, to get a new contract at Arsenal. He's, you know, he shouldn't be um, signing a contract extension at Arsenal for real, um, I th I, unless you know we are going back to the same old Arsenal back again. You know, if you're giving Arteta a contract. Then we shall see Arsenal giving you know, Grand Jack a new contract. And these are the stories we are, we are discussing. Alexander Lacazette getting a new contract. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But it's, you know, look, a manager who is 14th on the table, the teams ahead of you have games in hand. 
there is no way you're awarding such a manager with a new contract. There, you know, he has not earned it. And I think this is, you know, where Arsenal get it wrong. We need to start doing things on, 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 you know, on a merit basis. That a person has earned this, give him a new contract. Look, if, if Alexander Lacazette, you know, scores 15 goals this season and he gets a, a contract extension, yeah, you might say, okay, um, he's done so well. But for Mikel Ateta, he's lost 13 out of 20 games. I mean, we've lost so many games this season. I mean, there is no way you're giving Mikel Ateta a new contract. And I, and I just do not agree. Uh, you know, he is not that brilliant. And for me, I still think as a manager, he, has, you know, he still has things he's doing. And I think they are costing us points. He brought in. He brings in a player like Martin Odegaard um, because he's crying for you know crying for creativity. He gets a player like Martin Odegaard and he doesn't give him playing time. You know he, he doesn't start him. I, I think those mistakes are, are, are for me the reason as to why we still need to start the Mikel Arteta as is you know he's a manager learning on job. You know, but we also still need to start the Mikel Arteta. Is he the, that kind of manager that takes this in front? And, and for me, I've already said in my show, and I'll say it again. He, for, I, I don't see him as that kind of manager that's going to reach a, a, an extent where he's big enough to win something big. Um, he, he is a, a, you know, a Pochettino, something like that. He might be a Pochettino, something like that. He might play you know, interesting football. He might take us back to the you know, UEFA Champions League, but he's never going to lead us to win the Champions League. He might take us to top four, but he's never going to lead us to, you know, to the top of the table and win the league. So giving him a new contract i don't i, I don't get what you know the basis of the story i really don't i do not get um the motives driving you know the passion to give a, a, a manager like michael Arteta a, story, a, a, a new contract and, and and this is where um the conspiracy theories come from that if frank lampard was sacked who did very well last season um without having a transfer window and this season has been sacked then why is michael Arteta still at arsenal why is Mikel Arteta in line to get a new contract? It is, it, it is more like Arsenal are less ambitious, are very, very, very less ambitious than Chelsea. And it is like typically Tottenham and Chelsea have become bigger than Arsenal um, in motives, in, 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 in league table positions. And, and, and now financially, they have become bigger than Arsenal. And I, trust me, there is no Arsenal fan that would, you know, would want to hear um, such a statement. But that story is there that Mikel Arte is in the line uh, to get a new contract. What do you make of it? Is it the right time for, for Mikel Arte to get a new contract? Or you think um, he should actually wait? Now, we're still talking about contracts this early morning. Because it is also um, in line to get another contract. And look, the, you know, the truth is, if, uh, if Lacazette gets a new contract, then the way we are doing business at Arsenal has not changed. I think, I, I, you know, I said before that Lacazette having a good form, it is good for Arsenal because you know, that means you can sell him and get some good money. I didn't say that Lacazette being on good form, he deserves another contract. He's 29. This is his only season where you see him as a player, you know, who can score some goals. And of course, even the even this season, goals are not coming in thick and fast. So I don't think it's that consistent, you know, consistent striker Arsenal need. Abameyang is thirty. He is twenty. Like I said, he's twenty nine. We need a younger striker. We need a person who is more reliable. Um, Arsenal has been known for this. We always have that reliable striker, Van Persie, Etiel Henry, and Eduardo somewhere. Or Alexis Sanchez. At least we have a goal getter, a consistent goal getter. Now, in the past, in, in the next two years, we're not going to have Pierre Emerick Aubameyang at his peak, at his prime. Um, he's been affected by a lot of problems, a lot, a lot of problems this season. And you don't know if he's, you know, if his prime is going to get back. Probably, you know, last season was the end of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. He's thirty. He's not getting older. So we need to get a striker. And for me, it is not Alexander Lacazette. It's not giving Lacazette a new contract. So Lacazette, 30 million. Get, get, get in a new striker. Ocean Edward could be around 25 million, 28 million. I mean, you're making a little profit. Not a profit because, of course, it would be a loss. We, we bought him at 45 almost four years ago. But I don't see him as, as, as a player that needs to stay. El Neni, Lacazette, Xhaka. These are players that have done their role at Arsenal. They need to get away. So we bring in more quality players. I, I, I talked about Xhaka when I was talking about Yuri Telemans yesterday. Um, and I say that if, if you have a player like Granny Xhaka, who's been at the club for the past four or five years, and there isn't anything, anything he is good at, 
get him out, bring in a player like Yuri Telemans. Telemans knows the league. Telemans is, 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 is an upgrade of Granny Jaka. He has the speed, he has the pace, he's good at long balls, good at short passes, he can create chances, he can score goals. But, you know, giving Alexander Lacazette a new contract, for me, it is something that doesn't make sense, trust me. It is something that doesn't make sense for me. It, you know, I just don't get it. I just don't get it why Arsenal would even think of giving Alexander Lacazette a new contract. He doesn't, he, he can't guarantee you 15 goals in a season as a striker. Leave alone, you know, many people are going to tell me because he's good at, you know, hold up play. Every, you know, you can't get a striker who's good at hold up play. I mean, we can buy Peter Crouch, can't we? He's even cheaper. He's very good at hold up play. He's been at, you know, at those clubs where, you know, you need to hold play better than, you know, an Arsenal. So, I think Lacazette is time out. It, it, he survived last summer. Aleko Madrid, I think, wanted him. This summer, um, um, he, his contract is going to be um, one year. I think, yeah, he's going to have one year on his contract. I think this is where he needs to go. La um, Juventus is interested. Aleko Madrid, I suppose, they would be interested. Um, of course, they bought, they, they bought Osman Dembele. Um, I, I, not Osman Dembele, but Moussa Dembele from Lyon. So it might be a very difficult situation. But... If, La if, if Juve is interested, you, you've got to take the chances. You, you, you're going to give Lacazette a new contract, add him some money, and then he flops for the next three years. And that is adding more dead wood to a squad that is already suffering from, you know, from, 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 from dead skin. So I think Lacazette should be out. For Mikel Ateta, I need your comments. But you also need to tell me about uh, Alexander Lacazette. What do you think? Smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you in the next one.